it's not like trials in life don't happen every day, right? So for the most part, you got to like get a chance to get out and go. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes cross a couple streams of water. You know what I mean? Go somewhere, clear your mind. You know what I mean? Separate from things. What is things? Things is a system. If you got a house in the city, <clears throat> you don't really get to the country much, you're really in a system. Like, every day you're hearing, you know, what they like to call war zones. It's school, busing, uh, taxi cabs, ambulance, fire trucks, police officers, everyday living. You're hearing this every day. So you're in the war zone. Just that alone is congestion, uh, congesting the focus aspect of your spirituality, your spirituality connection. This is what grinding, this is what grounding is important for, putting your feet down on the ground, meditating. The balance of all these things, it gets so, it gets so out of whack because you're not knowing that this is actually taking place. So you'll find yourself in more volatile situations, unbeknownst to you. This is especially for people who live in the city. People who are in the country, they have a, um, Kind of like more of a, unless you're just that mentality, have that type of retrospect in your mind to want to be active. But most people from the country, they have this laid back kind of mentality because they're used to the the slow, quiet nights. So you get to like be in that stillness and, you know, the, the optimum, the optimum, <clears throat> the optimum value of stillness allows you to slow down the thoughts Slow down the reality and listen to what's given. The focus comes up on the fact that you're just being quiet and you get to hear other things. And that triggers different awarenesses inside of an individual. Most people don't focus on their everyday like that. Some people do it naturally because, you know, it's just the area that they come from. Unbeknownst to us, I get out and I go. See? I'm gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go get some of that good, um, it's this place I like to go to get some, uh, some, some real good spring water. And when I go out there, it's like a distance so I can clear my mind. The meditation is beautiful. It's peaceful. And what's crazy is I, I believe it's divine. It don't matter what season it is. Every time I go out here, it get hot. It don't matter if it's dead winter. If I go out here, and get hot and <laughs> like I was wearing shorts today you know what I'm saying in this t-shirt like I'm, I got on shorts like it was hot <laughs> you know what I'm saying playing this up I'm like yo this is crazy every time I come out here it's beautiful you know what I'm saying like whew. I I equate that to the divine because every time I go there I'm going for that spiritual healing the water the vibe the meditation the release you know what I mean? So it's the overall feeling. For the most part, finding time for your spiritual self is important. That's like that's like you telling yourself, no, 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 I'm going to take you on a date. <laughs> it's like you loving yourself that much. Like, no, nah, I'm going to take you on a date. We're going to go out and have some spiritual healing. <laughs> I'm going to take you to get some water. <laughs> it's funny to me because once you start loving yourself in these certain particular ways, then you start to understand the value of what it means to love yourself. You know what I mean? Everything is not materialistic value. You know what I'm saying? Loving yourself is taking care of yourself. And when you get the retrospect off of taking care of yourself to see what it is that you've been doing, you can see the results of what you've been doing. It's like, why I wasn't taught to love myself like this a long time ago. And it lets you see the people that was around you didn't love themselves because they don't know this. They don't know the science, you know what I'm saying? It just feels so good. You'd be like, wow. You're going to always get bombarded by things in the system, but that's the system. Learning to balance it out and balance out yourself is the ultimate job. There are so many particulars into dealing with spirituality and divine awareness. The divine pretense will guide you through all of these things. It just seems like a lot. But once you're in that motion, it's like second nature. It's nothing to think about. 
You know what I'm saying? Unconditional love. I can explain it in different pockets of reality, and it seems like I could put it in a book. But for the most part, it's simply simplicity of unconditional love. No more, no less. That's all you got to deal with. Unconditional love for yourself. Unconditional love for spirituality. Unconditional love for other people. And this is not all the time. For yourself, for your choices, yes. For people, not all the time. Don't exert yourself. Never let nobody put you in a situation where you possibly can be damaging or losing whatever it is that's the most beneficial for you. Whether that's your mind, your money, your peace. And you know, I had to learn the hard way that all love ain't real love. Like, people will scream that love word and won't do nothing for you, you know what I'm saying? Just to say, hey, I said something. <laughs> like, you're an idiot if you believe your words is doing anything for anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, for the most part. This ain't like back in the day where you can phone call a person on the regular, um, on a dial tone phone, you know what I'm saying? And that vibe feel so strong because you haven't actually got a chance to talk to them. It's not like that. You got too many ways that you can connect to people these days. You can see their face on any social media. You can see an old picture. You know what I'm saying? You can hear, see something they wrote. It's the familiarity is too constant. So it's like people don't care about each other no more. Because you ain't got nothing to go to nothing to go obtain. You ain't got nothing to go learn. You ain't got nothing to go hear about. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like right there. So people don't even care about their family no more. It's not enough to care about them. The only way you can care about something unless you miss it. The only way you can miss something unless you're not around it all the time. You see how they made that inadmissible? So now, yeah, you're going to have some more problems because now that you can see your family in any other aspect of your life, you're going to deal with that. And in, in, in bombardments, y'all all are seeing everything crazy come around the world. That is numbing. It's numbing you to that whole understanding of connection. But you know what? People don't see their senses getting burnt up. They just think, I'm just going to get some money. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? Have at it. Have at it. Lie, cheat, still. Do all of that. But just know, this is contrast, baby. When you're on one side, you prepare for the other. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It'll happen eventually. Every side. You know what I'm saying? Got to be worked on. I used to be bad. I had to be good. <laughs> I used to be real bad at one point. Like, you know what I mean? I was I was an idiot when I was young. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I saw it wasn't getting me anywhere. And I always, excuse me, I always had an affinity for knowledge. I always wanted to learn. And ultimately, all the knowledge that I was learning was helping me put down knowledge that I thought I knew. Constantly putting it down. So as I put it down, I gained more. And that's how I learned the practices of even loving myself more. It was like I was angry at myself as a young person because of the particular things I went through as a kid. You know what I'm saying? The non-justice situations I had to deal with. I was angry. I was mad. You know what I'm saying? People would try to look at me like, oh, look at him. He's just mad. Yeah, you don't remember what you did, though. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to talk about what you did. I used to be like that. Never got no justice for nothing. But then I found my salvation in divine pretense and spirituality. I didn't need no benediction from nobody else. I found it in myself. Look, I ain't going to hold y'all. We had nine minutes. Naga. <laughs>